Hello everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here, and this is a video unboxing the donations that have been sent to me by you guys. This is everything that I got in January, um, and these have been sent in by generous viewers, uh, donated to the channel. Uh, and so this is my opportunity to express my appreciation for that, to say thanks, uh, and to show you guys some of the stuff that's been sent in. Uh, I want to remind everyone that you don't have to send stuff to me. It's not uh, a required. I don't uh, need you to. Um, I do appreciate it when you do, and it certainly it has helped the channel. Um, but nobody should feel obligated to do that. Um, if you do want to send something to the channel, uh, I will put it in front of a camera and show everyone. So um, if you'd like to send something, I have a post office box. I will put the post office box address on the screen right now. So that is where you would send it if you want to send something to me. But remember, um, it's not required. Uh, this channel is doing fine. This channel is doing great. Uh, it doesn't require your donations. Uh, but if you are generous and want to donate, um, certainly whatever you send, I will uh, put it on TV and show everybody. Normally in these videos, I would show you things that I have purchased, but everything that I've bought recently uh, is for upcoming reviews, and I don't want to spoil the surprise. So I'm not going to show you those things right now. Uh, you will see them very soon when they are reviewed. Okay, let's start with this envelope. Uh, this was sent by Robert Stewart, um, and he sends this figure that is wrapped in black here. Uh, and um, I know what it is, uh, and now I'm going to show you what it is. This is kind of cool. This is a fun school barbecue that's a barbecue um, released in india and check out these colors on barbecue this is something else um it's really amusing check out the blue hey i guess the blue isn't all that different from like sergeant slaughter's marauders blue uh but like a yellow face mask um and it has his accessories here too uh mostly uh the same or similar to what we got in the u.s um so Looks like he is complete, but there you go. That's Fun School Barbecue. Uh, really unique and interesting figure. Uh, so thanks for Robert. Uh, thanks to Robert for sending that. Uh, I appreciate it. Um, I don't have a lot of Fun School figures, and it's really interesting and amusing to see them and actually be able to hold them in hand and kind of look at the differences in the plastic and the differences in the paint. Um, yeah, the fun school is is something special. Um, uh, I have had Fun School Ronnie, um, a, an actual Fun School GI Joe collector, in my videos a couple of times. Um, he's my Fun School expert. Uh, but uh, this stuff fascinates me. Um, I'm not a collector of uh, international uh, releases of GI Joe, but um, j just because I'm not a collector doesn't mean that I'm not interested in them. Uh, they are very interesting and um, sometimes amusing, uh, but always intriguing the changes that these figures went through uh, as they were released in other countries. This box is from Brandon Knight. Brandon Knight has been a friend of the channel for some time, and he has a letter. Um, and his letter says, as we close one year and begin a new one, let us remember the journey we are on, the new friends we make, and most important, the memories we share together. Uh, it has been and always will be great to find other people who still love G.I. Joe. Thanks again for the hard work and fun you put in your videos. Also for having an awesome family who support and love you. I think that's pretty awesome too. Thank you. Um, in this package are some figures and cards to help the channel and to share with the community. I want to wish you and your family a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Uh, your Joe Powell, uh, Brandon, uh, Andrew Knight, Yojo, and Cobra. Thank you very much, Brandon. That is a very well written note, and I, what I especially appreciate about that note um, is that it keeps the proper priorities. Uh, the friends that we make uh, and family, those are the things that always are the most important. So let's see what Brandon sent in this box. Uh, and right off the bat, all right, I'm gonna pull this one out first. It, um, Right off the bat, we have a version of Cobra Commander. Let's let's zoom in on this. Um, now, Brandon sent another one of these figures um, in a previous box. 
Uh, these Cobra Commanders from, I think the year was 1992. Uh, and this is one that I uh, do want to review here in, in the near future. Um, it's a different look for Cobra Commander. Um, he should normally have like a, a translucent red faceplate um, on this helmet, but this one is missing. I do have one with the translucent faceplate, but this is a variant of the one that he sent before. Um, some of these Cobra Commanders have... Uh, the eyebrows painted in and others do not. This is the one with the eyebrows um, and so now that I have both variants um, and one that has the red uh, face mask, uh, I think this guy's ready to review. I need to make sure I have the file card. I, I believe I have the accessories already so um, I think this guy's ready to go. So really interesting and unusual version of Cobra Commander. Uh, one of the stranger Cobra Commanders from the Vintage line. Uh, let's see what else we got. Oh, always welcome. Um, always a great figure to get your hands on. The Range Viper with some of his accessories there. Uh, really fascinating figure, the Range Viper. Um, haven't reviewed him yet. Uh, I'd like to review him at some point in the near future, but... Um, it's just a fascinating figure. I stare at the Range Viper and I just keep staring at him and um, just all over this figure there are interesting things to see. Um, unusual design choices. Uh, so Range Viper is cool. Uh, what else we got? Uh -huh. We have um, our old friend Skidmark. There you go. Uh, pretty good condition this Skidmark. Um, I do have a skid mark, but maybe this guy will be in the in the desert fox with the other skid mark. He can be in the passenger seat. So skid mark, the unfortunately named. Is it even possible to say skid mark's code name without also saying you know, the unfortunately named skid mark? Um, let's see what. Oh hey yeah, we got uh, got trading cards. A uh, big stack of them here. Um, a while back I did a, a video on these trading cards. I didn't have very many of them. Uh, I believe I have the whole set now. Uh, but let me see. Hey, this got a lot of the vehicles. Um, I don't know if you can... There's Bazooka, Shockwave, Tripwire, uh, Spirit, Captain Gridiron. A lot of fan favorites in here. You know which one I'm looking for. You know, I, I've, I've got one now, but I always still look for uh, Stalker because he's my favorite. There's the flak. I, I, the, it is cool that they, you know, it, it does include like the old, the old 82s. Uh, got a special place in my heart uh, for the 1982 stuff. Uh, so, uh, I don't know. I may not... Uh, find it right now but um, I always check to see if there's a stalker card in here uh, and I don't see right, right away I'll, I will go through these later um, tunnel rat some great characters uh, and it's really cool to see their cards so uh, anyway so thanks for those uh, Brandon and let's see let's see what else we got here uh, oh yeah we've got Hawk now, I forget which version of Hawk this is. Uh, I want to say version 3 or 4. I can't remember. But it's the one with the talking backpack. Um, it's got a, his rifle in here. Um, and, and these, you know, this is actually a really nice figure. Uh, I think um, this figure looks like uh, General Flag, the late General Flag uh, from the G.I. Joe comic book series. Um, but um, this is Hawk. Um, there is a way to remove these backpacks. These backpacks are like um, affixed to the figure, but uh, if, with a screwdriver you can remove them. And without the backpack, this is actually a really cool looking figure. Uh, not a bad iteration of Hawk. I like that. Um, and then we have... Oh yeah, this... <laughs> uh, let's see, it doesn't have the um, Duke figure but it is 
Duke's crotch rocket. Oh yeah, other accessories too. There's his crotch rocket. Oh, it's got the it's got the missile in it. it it's let me see. Will it fire? I'm gonna fire it at the camera. Oh yeah, <laughs> it shot across the room. Okay. Um, oh yeah, look at this. There's his rifle. Now the one that I had um, had lots of plastic stress marks, and this one does not. Um, that's in pristine shape. That's really nice. And his helmet. So accessories for that dude. Oh, I'm sorry. Now here he is. I found him. He was in the bottom of the box. He must have slipped out of the bag. But there is, there's Duke um, and his accessories, at least uh, most of them. Uh, and it does include the missile for the the crotch rocket, uh, which I just shot across the room. Uh, so that is that box from Brandon. Uh, and I have one more box from Brandon right here. All right, this is the final box to open. This is also from Brandon Knight. Uh, so oh, he has another letter. So let's read that. Um, let's see. Um, he has some cash in here. Oh my goodness. Um, I wasn't expecting that. Uh, let's see. Um, Okay, dear HCC788, thanks for taking us on an amazing adventure. Can't wait to see what wonders uh, we will see next. I know not all adventures will be great. We still have many 90s figures and vehicles to go through, but uh, at the best part of, uh, but that's the best part of adventures. Yes, that is true. <clears throat> um, it was the best of time. It was the worst of time. Keep up the great work and never stop playing with G.I. Joe toys, even if your wife is LOL from the corner. Yes, sometimes she does uh, catch me playing with my dolls. Um, and also, uh, here's a special bonus for your daughter's birthday. Thank you, I will pass that on to her. All right, so let's see what's in the box. And in the box is, uh, this is nice, this is special. Um, it's, I gotta, hold on, I gotta zoom this in so you can see. It's a cobra bat. Bat. Um, what year was this? Was this, I think, 93? Um, it's a cobra bat. Um, it's B A A T, uh, not just B A T. Um, and it's, it's one of those uh, clunky um, battle armor um, articulation. Uh, like Robo Joe. Uh, looks like he's it's got his accessories in there. Uh, missiles and guns and figure stand uh, and missile launcher. Uh, but this is um, this is uh, this is nice. This is I mean I didn't have one uh, so certainly it does help. Uh, but these guys um, I, I haven't I need to get back around uh, to reviewing these um, I think they're uh, called battle armor figures. Um, I haven't done one since Robo Joe and there are a, a lot of them and uh, I, I really should talk about them. We need to talk about these. So um, I, I really got a kick out of this. Thank you Brandon. Um, this is a very amusing figure uh, and I look forward to reviewing it at some point. Thank you guys for sending these. Uh, it's very generous. It's very much appreciated. Um, if I get more donations uh, in February, I will do another one of these videos uh, next month. Uh, if I don't, then I won't. So um, that's just kind of how it goes. Uh, so um, once again, don't feel like you have to send something. Uh, I'm just happy having you here, having you watching the videos, and have you going on this journey with me, this adventure, as Brandon put it. Um, this is an adventure that we are all going on together, and uh, that's the important thing for me. Um, but if you do want to send something and have it in a video like this, um, you can send it to this post office box, um, and if I get it, I'll, I'll show it to everyone. So that's all for now. Uh, thank you for all this, and thank you all for being a part of this great project with me. Uh, it's been a lot of fun, uh, and we just keep moving forward. Um, so I will be back soon. Um, I should have a full review for you in the very near future. Uh, until then, remember, well, you know what to remember. I'll see you later.